Hello, Lin Algebra. Good to see you again. How are you doing? Hopefully, you are doing well. I am doing well also because today we'll be talking about symmetry matrix. This right here is actually not so bad because the definition is just going to be this is a square matrix so that as dot t dot, right? If you look at the square matrix A and then if you do the transpose to it, if the matrix is symmetric, you will just get a back. Pretty cool. Right? And you know what's cooler than this? Some of the problems based on this right here. And I'm going to show you guys two of them and then I will also ask you guys a question for you guys to think about. So, I'm going to give you guys my first claim. Well, if you look at A times A transpose. And in this case, the dimension of A can be anything. So, I'm going to write this down right here. A can be M by N m by n because if you do the transpose this will become n by m and when you multiply them the result will be m by m not m m m by m so you know this right here at least it has a chance and in fact this right here is always going to be symmetric for any matrix a not symmetric symmetric with a c at the end so this right here is actually pretty cool. And before I show you guys how we can prove this, let me give you guys an example so that we can at least see how does a symmetry matrix look like. So right here, this is just a blue example. I don't know why it has to be blue, but uh, anyway. Let's say A is equal to a 3 by 2 matrix. So I'm going to have the following. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. All right, have a look. In this case, a transpose, it will be just, well, we do this and then put that as a column. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, like so. And now if we do A, A transpose, well, remember the water, we have to do this times that. So here we go. For the first entry, 1 times 1, which is 1, and then plus 4, which is 5. So that's the first one. And then just continue. That's 3 and 8, which is going to be 11, and then 5 and 2, which is 7. And then this right here is going to be 3 and 8, which is 11. And this is going to be 9 and 16, which is 25. And then 5, uh, 15 and 4 is 19. And the last one, you can actually know the answer already, except for the last number, but let's see. 5 and 2 is 7, and then 15 and that is 19, and then 25 and 1 is 26. Have a look right here. If you do the transpose, this and that are equal, but so is this and that, so is this and that. So you already see this will be equal to A, A transpose, and then you do the transpose. Right? So hopefully this right here will convince you. But unfortunately, an example is never <laughs> the proof. That's the sad part, right? Otherwise, it will be done already. But anyway, the proof is actually not so bad. It's kind of based on all the things I talked about in the previous video. If you haven't checked that out, no, go ahead and do so. So here is my little proof for the little claim right here. Well, you have to remember the definition whenever you are doing proofs. So if you want to say that this is symmetric, all we have to do is we have to go ahead and check what do we get if we put AA transpose, right? AA transpose. And then do the transpose to this guy. So this is what we have to check. And hopefully, by doing whatever we need to do, in the end, we can just do the, we can just get the inside back. So that's the idea. You see, when we do A transpose, we just get the inside back. That's the idea, right? Now, here is the deal. From the last video, we talked about it. When we have a product of two matrix, and then we do the transpose, what we get is, this right here actually comes first now, so we get A transpose, and then you do the transpose, all right? And then you put this right here, which is just gonna be A, and then you do the transpose. All right, now, have a look. A transpose and transpose is just the A, right? So here, this is just gonna be A, and then A transpose is just A transpose. Can you believe it? This is right here, it's actually the proof. Have a look. Inside, outside, same, done. That's it. Very, very cool, huh? 
All right, so um, hopefully you guys can get these kind of questions on your test so that you can get the questions right. They're pretty easy proofs, but uh, if you don't know the definition, you have no chance. I'm very serious, right? So that's the first thing. And now let's look at claim number two. So for this one, let's look at A plus A transpose. And in this case, because we have to make sure that when we add the matrices, the dimensions have to be the same. So in this case, A and A transpose, of course, A in this case, it has to be square. So you can say that's an M by N or N by N, whichever by whatever, uh, they have to be the same thing in order to make this work. Believe it or not, if you add A and A transpose, this right here is also symmetric all the time. So if you have a matrix that's not symmetric, don't be upset. All you have to do is find its transpose and then add it to the original. The result will produce a, yeah, you know, a symmetric matrix for you. So for this one, I'm not going to do the example. I'm going to skip that. I'm just going to jump right into the proof. Very similar to what we had to do over there. So I'm just going to tell you, go ahead and check. Put this inside and then do the transpose, right? So put this, transpose that, and then the, this right here inside. So A plus A transpose, like so. All right, now, the sum, the transpose of the sum is the sum of the transpose. And again, we talked about it last time. So this right here becomes A, Right, the first one, transpose that, and then we just have to add A transpose, and then we transpose this guy. Right? So make sure you show each and every steps. All right, this guy is just this guy, so A transpose, but A transpose transpose, this is just the A by itself. And have a look. A transpose plus A is not the same as the original inside. Yes. But if you want to write down a nice proof, what you have to do is switch the order. And we can, of course, switch the order of the sum of matrices. That's totally okay. But we cannot switch the order of the product of uh, the matrix. So in the end here, we can just write down this A goes first, and then this A transpose goes next, and inside, outside, done. And then again, put a box just like that. Very, very cool. All right. So now, you're going to kind of encounter this kind of questions a lot. So this is going to be a question for you guys, right? for you guys to think about. Right? Whenever you have like a special matrix, right? whenever you have like a special matrix, in this case, when you have a symmetric matrix, what people would like to do is that they will ask you if A and B, they are both like that special matrix, in this case, the symmetric one, if you multiply them, do you get a symmetric matrix as well? So the question right here for you guys, right? So if, man, there will be a lot of words, right? So if A and B are symmetric, man, I just cannot write. Yeah, there we go. If A and B are symmetric, I will have to ask you, does A, B also have to be symmetric. What do you think? And seriously, you will, you will see these kind of questions a lot. I can replace this by if A and B are invertible, meaning that both of them have inverse, does A times B also have to be invertible? Or another kind of question is that if A and B are both diagonalizable, does that mean that A times B is also diagonalizable, right? A lot of like this kind of questions. But anyway, though, let's look at this one. If A and B are both symmetric, does that mean that A, B also have to be symmetric? What do you guys think? Well, as I said, I'm going to leave that to you, but I will tell you guys the answer though. The answer to this one is a no. And whenever you're trying to prove something that's false, whenever you're trying to prove that it doesn't have to be whatever, all you have to do is just come up with two, just come up with two matrices, one for A and one for B, and make sure that they are both symmetric, and then you just compute the product. And when you do that, that's called the finding a counter example. All you have to do is just to find a counter example to prove this. That's not always the case, and you will be done. 
However, though, I will tell you, if A and B, they commute, then in that case, AB will also be symmetric in our situation. But I just don't have the commutative property between A and B, so that's why if you just have this, then it's actually a false statement. AB doesn't have to be symmetric. Just go ahead and try it out on your own, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So hope you guys like this two little claims and also this little question. And we will do a little bit more later. Right? That's it. Bye.